All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Hope you're doing well. And today we're gonna be talking about something that we all thought probably would have came around pretty soon, but just not this soon, I guess. Or at least I didn't think it was gonna come this soon. So apparently Chris Chan, you know, the person I talked about a couple of days ago, just actually got arrested and is now in police custody over in Virginia where he lives. So like I said before, I'm pretty sure we all knew that this was going to happen. I guess it was just a matter of when it was going to happen, but I just really wanna know what are the like reasonings behind him being arrested, I guess, because the official reason as to why he got arrested isn't actually out yet into the public, but I'm pretty sure we all have a really good idea as to what it was. I'm pretty sure it had something to do with the sexual assault thing. Maybe somebody random called it in and maybe the cops came and took him in at that point. Recently, leaked audio and text messages that were allegedly between Christine and an unidentified third party indicated that Chris Chan was engaging in an incestuous relationship with his mother, Barbara Chandler, due to Barbara's advanced age and questionable capacity to consent. This could be the situation involving elder abuse and sexual assault. Due to the heinous nature of the leaked communications, they were forwarded to the authorities by concerned parties. The reason behind the arrest hasn't been revealed yet. However, there are several reasons that Henrico County Police may have detained Chris Chan. Incest is a crime in Virginia, as is elderly abuse, sexual assault, gonna just blur that out. I don't want to get in trouble, but you know what I'm saying. It's possible that after examining Barbara, authorities found evidence that one more of these crimes occurred and a warrant may have been issued for Christian's arrest. It's also said that Christian withdrew $750 from Barbara's account, which violated some EPO of some sort that he had going on. So altogether, it's just a pretty crazy story and I guess it's finally coming to an end. Now, I do have the video here. It's not the entire video, but it's pretty much just him going into the cop car and the guy recording it, you know, exchanging some words with him. But the entire video is pretty simple, I guess. I mean, he says some stuff about Sonny Chu. So I don't know where the story goes from here, but I just wanted to make a follow-up video on the whole situation. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for me today. I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, hit that like button. And if you want more content similar to this, hit that subscribe button. And I'll leave you guys with the rest of the video. Sub up, stay safe, and peace. Christine, this man does want to help you. Yeah, we were trying to get you on the show, but look, when you get out, look me up. Killstream. I don't know if you know who I am or not. We're here to help you. We saw what Josh was doing to you, so we wanted to come try to talk to you. It's happening right now, isn't it? Right now, it is. We're living it. It's happening right now. Farewell, Chris Chan. Well, there goes Chris Chan into the Henrico County deputy's car here. I don't think they've had a an arrest like this. We just got here too. This is like the first time that no one's filming the police. <laughs> Which one of you wanted to ask questions? Oh, I, I, hey, please do take good, like good care of her. She is like a good person. Treat everybody the same, man. All right, y'all have a good day. Thank you, officers. Thank you. I appreciate y'all taking enough time for me to get here too. Wow. Was that? Was that a scoop or what, ladies and gentlemen? What the what in the world? Oh, as always.